Tell me your perspective on the youth curfew proposal. Well, my sense of it is that debating the pros and cons of a curfew is actually a distraction. That what we really need to be doing is convening all the stakeholders here in downtown Silver Spring, which means the agency people, both uh, the government agencies and nonprofits and whatnot, the business people, and talking about how we can manage a successful downtown entertainment district. And there are things that can be done to be preventive as far as making sure that there's adequate services for transportation, uh, for eating and uh, other things after shows let out, mm -hmm. uh, to try and avoid conflict that way. Uh, there's, I think, in this particular case, uh, the, the, the July 4th fight that occurred was conflict between two specific gangs, mm -hmm. and in other jurisdictions, that's what they've done is develop gang intervention strategies to keep those groups either from reducing whatever conflicts they have or letting them know that there's going to be additional consequences if they pursue whatever violence that they're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the focus. The resources very specifically on solutions mm -hmm. rather than trying to sort of shotgun things. Mm -hmm. And that I think overall is going to be much more effective, uh, particularly in an era of, of limited resources. And a lot of that begins with doing a very detailed and specific problem analysis. Who are the young people that are hanging out here at night? And are they people that don't have anything else to do, or are they coming here for specific reasons like wanting to fight or whatever, and probably there are elements of all of that and other issues perhaps like homelessness, mm -hmm. and we need to be able to address those specific problems with those groups of people if we're going to be successful at solving the problem and maintaining the attractiveness of downtown Silver Spring as a nighttime entertainment district.